Good morning. It's like almost six. So I wasn't too angry about being woken up this morning. It's recycle day. Um, some people uh, should not be on Facebook. And specifically, some older people. I'm talking like pre-boomer age, older people. And I appreciate you like trying to keep up with the times, but sometimes um, you should just phone it in. Okay, so because I'm saying this because I have these events on Facebook that I put up, right? Well, a person that I invited or that was invited is like, well, where is this camping event? And uh, I don't have any camping supplies. And I'm like, okay, um, first of all, okay, so the camping event is in this city and the description has the address. And... Um, you will need to ask somebody for camping supplies or get your own. That's not my problem. You don't have camping supplies. So, you know, um, you know, just like, you know. Okay. Good morning. Happy Friday. It's finally Friday. I have to work, but it's finally Friday. Okay, I feed this cat and stuff. And I'll see you later. Good morning. It's 11. I don't know, 11.30? Something like that. 11.21. Okay, so I'm just making some break. A little bit of breakfast here. Uh, yes, I have some breakfast. Get some breakfast. Uh, I'm just gonna have cereal. Oops, excuse me, Amber. Yeah, I'm just gonna have cereal, okay? Let's see, what kind of cereal do I want today? We're gonna have this cereal. What is this cereal? You should know it. They eat themselves. They're cannibals. They eat each other. It's Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Hi. Hi. Good evening. It's 6.15. Um, feeding the dog. That's what I'm doing. I'm feeding the dog. Why am I feeding her not at 6? Because I was helping somebody on the phone. Here's your food. And I have to stay, when I start the conversation, I need to stay and help the person. And then when I'm done, I can log off. Sometimes I can get overtime for that. Usually I can. I got an hour of overtime in this week. Uh, not on purpose. But like Tuesday, I was early. And then um, yesterday, I was late. Uh, staying late so you know we asked her to talk to a supervisor yeah 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 I use that um what did I use today on my hair I used uh I like the feel of uh what's it called the Aunt Jackie's um don't shrink gel and I use the ORS uh, olive oil, whatever the heck, something serum type stuff, and that makes my hair not frizzy and it's not crunchy and it smells a little bit like licorice. So I like it. 
No, I put dishes away. Come on, JJ. I gotta go poop. Right? You went out and you peed. Now you need to go poop. Let's go poop, JJ. Come on. You gotta go poop outside. Let's go poop outside. We gotta go poop. I'll go stand with you. She go poop. Don't forget. Oh, it's so nice out. So glorious. I don't even know what the temperature is right now. I want to say 80 something. It was supposed to get up to 90, which uh, I'm pretty sure it's just cooled down a little bit. But it's so nice out. There, she's pooping. That is what we needed to do. Mission accomplished. Um, that is all. Okay, so this dirty. This is another reason I like, um, what do you call it? What do I like? Kaboom Foam Tastic. So I'm wiping this out just with hot water just to show you that it's not coming off like the discoloration of it. See, still dirty. I mean, yeah, some of the greasiness came off, but it's still gross looking, right? So, I'm going to get that Kaboom Fumtastic in here and let it sit. That's what you got to do. Okay, see? Kaboom Fumtastic. Get it all up in there. Okay, water. All on the edges. See there? Get it in there. It's in there. Okay. Let it sit. Let it become clear. So it's turned white, is what I meant to say, white. You go rinse hot water. Rinse it out. You can already see, look at how clear that is. You see that? You want it cleaner, you wipe it out some more. See? Nice and shiny clean. You see the outside here is kind of gunked. I'm going to use this as a soap pad. They work out real well, too. See, all nice and shiny and clean. Hi, how's it going? I got an orange. So what I'm doing over here, oh Jesus, JJ. What I'm doing over here is just peeling a couple uh, oranges. And I'm gonna do candied orange peel. So I gotta slice them into thin strips. We're gonna boil them twice in water. Then we make a syrup and we boil them in the syrup. So, let me do by the slicing part first. I asked my friend Joshua if he liked Italian pasta salad. He's like, oh, I really only like it with, uh, it has to have meat and salsa in it. And I'm like, boy, it does not, salsa doesn't go in Italian pasta salad. Oh, he's like, oh, I meant a tomato sauce. I'm like, that just makes it a cold pasta dish. Italian pasta salad, the way I make it, is a tricolor pasta with pepperoni and cube cheese and um, Italian dressing. And he has not replied to me yet if he would like that. I am wondering if he even knows what that is. I don't think he knows how to cook. And um, if he does know how to cook, he doesn't do it because, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say. He doesn't do it. He doesn't cook, probably because he has like 700 jobs. All right, so I got my food. I got my orange peels sliced up nice and thin like. See there, nice and thin. They're in the water. I'm gonna start boiling them. You boil your orange peels because um, that'll take out the bitterness. So you can do that a couple of times. So I'm gonna boil, drain, boil, drain. And then we make our syrup and then we boil them in the syrup. So I'm gonna sit down and while that's boiling, eat an orange and watch TV. All right, round one done. 
the boiling round two happening. Um, I just put the fresh water in there so it hasn't boiled yet. Maybe these are hot so you know don't pick them up. You're supposed to start they get them like softer or whatever and then obviously like I said um takes the bitterness out like some people will only boil once because they like more of a bitter flavor when I say some people I mean people that have posted on YouTube about it because that's where I learned how to do this so I'm trying them out if they're good I will give a jar to Joshua if you have a little snacky snack oh god all right, uh, I'm watching Dr. Pimple Popper. Oh, interesting. Okay, so um, I did the second boil, drained, and uh, rinsed my pan out, my pot out. And I put one cup of sugar, one cup of water, hot water, and dissolved that together. Um, and then I put my orange peels in there, and now they're sitting in the water on a medium-low heat. They're going to simmer. And I'm gonna let them simmer for like 20 minutes. They're not simmering yet. And I don't know if that's something I should be watching for. I don't know. But I'm gonna let them sit for like 20 minutes. And then um and then um and then I'm gonna check them and see if it look they're supposed to look kind of translucent. And then um just take them out and put them on a uh, drying rack which I don't have so I'll put them out like on paper towel or something which I also don't have I just realized we'll put them out and I'll figure I have napkins that might work so I'll put them out and uh and you're supposed to sprinkle with sugar so um I'll show you that next all right now uh, they've been boiling for a while. I took them out of their syrup and I put them on some uh, napkin. If you have a drying rack, it's probably better. If I did that, I took them out, laid them out, I sprinkled with sugar. So now we're supposed to let them cool. I did. I sprinkled with a heft, kind of a hefty amount, heftyish amount of sugar. So they're well coated with the sugar. And we let them cool. And then they should be ready, so we'll let them cool. And uh, it won't be ready till tomorrow, so I'll wait um, till tomorrow to try them out. And tomorrow I get my second dose of Pfizer. Pfizer. I keep saying Pfizer, but that's not it. Pfizer vaccine. I get my second dose, and hopefully it doesn't knock me out for the day because I've got stuff I need to do. Watching the Simpsons. Ugh. Okay. See you later. She's warm. She can go get some water. If I gave her a bath, I think she would like that. Well, I wouldn't really bathe her. I would just dunk her into some cooler water. I mean, that's how we stay cool. You take a shower. That's it. You take a shower and then you're nice and cool. So it's like 10 something right now. 1030 whatever time. I get my shot tomorrow at 10. I'll probably be up. I need to be up earlier though so I can make a trip to the grocery store and Walmart is open at 7. So I should be up by then. I know I will be. So I'll be up, um, get the grocery stuffs, drop it off at home, get my shot, come back and make whatever. And then I got to go to uh, Baraboo and then I come back home and chill. So first part of my morning is going to be pretty busy. And that's all I've got for today. Tomorrow it's Saturday, so I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles. Thank you.